Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are on series number two where we are discussing triangles. Today is webisode number 15. Friends, today's topic is SSS or side, side, side similarity rule or similarity theorem. As you know friends from episode 13, that is 13, 14, last two episodes we are exploring similarity rules. So today's topic is side, side, side similarity rules. So let's first find out what is it telling us. What is meant by SSS similarity rule? So in two triangles, if the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion, the two triangles are similar. So let's find out. Let's draw two triangles, friends. So here I have got two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR, such that what is given is the ratio of AB by PQ, AB by PQ, is equal to AC by PR, AC by PR is equal to BC, BC by QR. This is what is given us. So the SSS, so each S is for side, so side, side, side. So if the three corresponding sides in two triangles are in the same ratio, if their ratios are the same, then we say that two triangles are similar. That is, if this is the case, then the similarity rule is saying that triangle ABC and triangle PQR must be similar triangles. So friends, now how can we prove this? So let's draw two triangles. One of the most important things to understand is that it is the ratio which is same. What is meant by that is, so we have, let us, let us write it this way. So clearly in this figure, we have drawn PQ greater than AB, right? So we can basically say PQ by AB is equal to, say, PR by AC, PR by AC, which is equal to QR, QR by BC. Now, we don't know what is the value of this ratio, right? But we do know whatever the value, say all these ratios are k, where k is some number. Maybe k is 2. That is, if this is x, then this side is 2x, right? So if this length is y, then this length will be 2y. If this length is z or z, then this length will be 2z. So k, if, if these are the dimensions, then k will be equal to 2. Right? So the important point to understand is that these ratios are equal. We don't know the exact values. So in this case, we have taken the pq to be greater than ab. Right? So if we do that, then we will be able to find out a length PS on PQ which will be equal to AB that is this length and this length will be equal. Similarly, on PR we can find a length which is equal to AC. So this length will be equal to this length. So friends, our approach will be for this proof we will first try to prove that this small triangle PST is actually similar to triangle PQR, PQR, right? And then we will prove that PST is congruent to triangle ABC. And from there, if these two triangles are congruent, then 
we will get all three angles of ABC equal to PQR and so by AAA similarity rule they will be similar. Now that's it friends let, let us go ahead with the actual proof itself. So like always we first want to start out by saying what is given to us. So we are given two triangles ABC and PQR it is also given to us that their sides have the same ratio AB by PQ equal to AC by PR equal to BC by QR and then we write what we have to prove we have to prove these two triangles are similar so like we just discussed friends what we can do what we want to do is in triangle PQR we want to find out a point S on PQ such that PS this length will be equal to the length of AB. So we want to find out this length PS which is equal to the length of AB right. Similarly on PR we want, we want to find a point T such that PT will be of the same length as AC. So whatever the length of that is we want to find out the same length here and then we simply join S and T. So now friends we actually have been given PQ by AB PQ by AB is equal to PR by AC. This is something which is already given to us. Right? Now if you if you do this calculation then you will see that you will get this value. What you will see is you will see that PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. So so essentially you will see that PS PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR as shown here. But if you look at triangle PQR, if you have PS by SQ equal to PT by TR, that means this line SD must be parallel to QR. Because if, if that is true, then by basic proportionality theorem, SD must be parallel to QR. Right? But if SD is indeed parallel to QR, then what do we get? So we have ST parallel to QR. If these two lines are parallel and PQ is a transversal, then the corresponding angles, that is this angle will become equal to this angle and this angle will become equal to this angle. Right? Next, so we can say then the triangle, the small triangle PST, the small triangle PST is similar to the big triangle PQR because by AAA similarity rule or we can simply say by AA similarity rule. So small triangle PST is similar to triangle PQR by we can either say AA similarity rule or angle P is common. So AAA similarity rule. It does not matter which one we pick. Let's clean it up a little bit. So we have these two triangles now similar. This triangle and this big triangle they are similar and what we have seen is that these angles angle S, angle Q are equal, angle T and angle R they are actually equal. Right? Now we have been given PS by PQ, right? Which is PS by PQ equal to PT by PR because these are two similar triangles. Small triangle and the big triangle are similar, so their corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. So PS by PQ must be equal to PT by P 
PR which must be in the same ratio as ST by QR. Right? Now, what what is given to us? So let's take a look at this carefully. So we have PS by PQ equal to PT by PR equal to ST by QR, right? From basically the fact that these two triangles are similar, but because PS is equal to AB, that is PS is equal to AB, we are replacing PS by AB. So instead of PS, let's write AB. Similarly, PT is equal to AC. So let us instead of PC, let's write AC by PR is equal to this. But remember what is given to us, AB by PQ is equal to AC by PR equals to BC by QR. So if you look at, if this is condition 2 and this is condition 3, it means that this ratio is equal to this ratio. And, and what is this? It is nothing but ST by QR equals BC by QR or ST is equal to BC. That is, we just proved that ST is actually equal to BC. So the length of ST must be equal to the length of BC. So now what we have friends here is, let's just do this one more time. So these lengths are equal. So what we can say is if you look at these two triangles, ABC and PST, AB is equal to PS, AC is equal to PT and ST is equal to AB. So we can say that by SSS congruence rule, SSS congruence rule that these two triangles are congruent triangles. That means this angle should be equal to this angle. This angle should be equal to this angle. Right? Now, we already know that in these two triangles, PS, T and PQR, angle S is equal to angle Q, right? And this angle T is equal to angle R. So what we have is now if you compare the triangle ABC and triangle PQR, if you look at these two triangles, ABC and PQR, angle B is equal to angle Q, angle C is equal to angle R. So we can say, ABC is similar to PQR by AA similarity rule. Let's strike out one extra A. That is two angles of one triangle are equal to their corresponding two angles in the other triangle. So angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So hence it is proved that if we are given the three sides are in the same ratio to their corresponding three sides of the second triangle. So friends, we have proved that the two triangles are indeed similar triangles.